time to get back onto Zwift. It's Thursday today. I haven't been on Zwift this week. It was actually my birthday yesterday. Uh, so the last couple of days have been a bit busy. Uh, and earlier in the week, I had a bit of a dodgy tummy again. Um, that's cleared up though. So it's time to get on and start some riding this week. Still want to try and get in three rides before the end of the weekend. Uh, so I'm going to jump on and do the big spin. Uh, today, this week is in New York. Now I haven't ridden in New York for a very long time on Zwift. I'm not a big fan of New York because it's just you're either going up or very quickly down. It feels just like you're constantly going upwards. So I think it's Mighty Metropolitan the name of the route. I have no idea if I've done this before. I don't recognize the route. Um, but I'm going to jump on. I think it's going to take me about an hour. So that ticks that box of trying to do slightly longer rides than I was doing last week. But time to get changed, jump on, and let's see how it goes. All right, then, got to the bottom. We're just about to start a little bit of a climb. Don't know whether to attack this and go for it or take it easy. I <laughs> just enjoyed that coast down. Started a little bit faster than perhaps I should have because I wasn't particularly warmed up. Just about made the start. So I don't know how big this little bump is. I suppose I might, I might take this one a bit easy and then maybe attack the next one a little bit. But it's up to 10, 11%. Oh, this is when everyone takes takes over and disappears. But uh, yeah, still a long way to go yet. And it's these climbs that's gonna add the times. I didn't think that my trainer was working for a little bit, but it has just ramped up a bit, which is nice. So I thought I'd have to do it all in one, in one resistance and change gears, but it seems to be working okay. But uh, let's go, come on. Oh. So I did go a little bit harder than expected up there. Yellow, orange and a little bit of red. I wasn't planning on doing that before I started. Oh, got to recover a bit now. It's quite nice going up a hill <laughs> and not have every, having everyone pass me. Obviously they're not putting out quite oh, as much of a relative effort if they're just in a casual ride, but Oh, nice to, uh, yeah, not lose a group. Mind you, nothing's really settled into a group yet. But uh, nice to feel strong enough to push a little bit up there. Now it's a little bit uppy downy. I think we hit another bit of a climb later on. I think it's a little bit longer. Maybe I'll take that one a bit easier. I don't know. Just turning left then. To go up this may the main part i think of the climb i have no idea how long this is i remember this one seems to take forever and ever 1.4 kilometers oh i've definitely gone out i should have taken that first little bit a bit easier because i'm feeling it now so i might just try and settle into a little bit of a rhythm here and uh just see how long i can take to get to the top of here Oh, I do not. There is something, I don't mind a lot of other climbs. It's just something about this one and New York in particular just seems to be a drag. But we're going to do it. Still got 11k to go. Once we're up and over this though, well, it's not downhill. I don't know why I'm saying that. It's a bit of downhill, but the usual New York up and down. Come on. Right. Just got to the top of that. I just tried to stick to 200 watts all the way up. Little dip in there where it levels off. I just, I couldn't be bothered to change gears. And I just took the respite, to be honest. But leveled off. Now, about to head down this little bit. Oh, I'm pleased with that. Nice to put out consistent power and get up that hill. I have this time though dropped a lot further back through the pack than what I was initially but that doesn't matter another little bumpy bit done just about to head downhill nice little coast down to the bottom here oh. the thing I struggle with is keeping my legs going just at a casual pace after I put quite a lot of effort into um, getting up a hill or consistent hard effort 
to then settle back into an easier effort I really struggle with. I don't know why. Then I'm gonna coast down here, 4.7 kilometers left to go. And let's see what we get on the wheel. Uh, I tried to remain as consistent as possible for the last three or four kilometers there. Nice to finish on a bit of a hill. <laughs> but what are we gonna get on the wheel? Spinny spin. Oh, what are we gonna get? We have got uh, the helmet. I don't know what the helmet is. The New York baseball cap for doing this one. That's all I've had so far is hats. But, oh yeah, 150 minutes. I thought that would take me a little bit longer than that. So I'm really pleased, really pleased. And uh, some good efforts up the hills as well. So awesome to get another ride in. Really enjoyed it. Same distance as the, the one in, uh, in uh, London, 20 kilometers, but obviously it takes longer because it's hillier. But uh, yeah, starting late this week, but starting positively. I've just been looking at the stats following that ride. 169 watt average for the 50 minutes, which I think is comfortably my strongest since uh, since riding this year. Um, I think I'm normally around sort of the 150 max, 140, 150. I know I haven't been pushing myself in previous rides, but also I don't feel like I necessarily pushed much harder in that, and obviously getting a higher watt output. So I I'm getting stronger. I think I'm getting stronger. No adverse side effects, although I will come back to that in a second. Um, but I've been able to push myself and I feel that's given me a bit of the mindset and the confidence to be able to push myself probably a little bit more in future rides. And it's one more step back to getting back to the races, which I'm really looking forward to. Just, I want to be able to feel strong enough to be able to do that before I do. It is Saturday now. Um, last night wasn't a good night. I woke up at about 5.30 this morning uh, and my stomach went, uh, I spent a little bit of time um, in the bathroom, feeling quite uncomfortable, um, struggled to get back to sleep again. I, it, it's frustrating because I've been, I have been feeling re really good for the last couple of weeks, it's not been an issue, but that means it's changed my plans for today, I think. I had planned to get on and do that ride again to see what I can get that isn't a hat or a helmet, uh, so that's all I've won so far on the, bi the big spin. But I think I'm going to be sensible and do just a ride with one of the pace partners. I know that goes against everything I've just said about feeling stronger and being able to push myself. I've just got to manage it sensibly at the moment, I think. And then maybe tomorrow, if I'm feeling up to it, I'll jump on and do another one of the rides in New York to see what I can win on the wheel. I just, it, this stomach thing is frustrating me because it's stopping me wanting to plan things in with the family or go out and do things you know by this point in the year just about we probably would have gone this weekend to one of the merlin parks which is what my daughter loves to do also my reading my football team have just well hopefully we're in the midst of a takeover um, we've had a year of well we've had six years of bad ownership and points deductions and rubbish that have gone along with it Sounds like there's light at the end of the tunnel. We played at home yesterday and I would really have liked to go. Thankfully, we got the win and we were, you know, a little bit of a step closer away from not being relegated. But my stomach, whilst it's feeling better, I haven't got the confidence to say, right, I'm going to go and jump on a train, go away for out for a couple of hours without having the safety net of being able to come home and be comfortable if my stomach goes. It's just... This is something I lived with for 18 months or so with a long time ago. My stomach's nowhere near as bad as it was then, but I, it's this mindset that I've got to get over. Uh, and it, and when these things happen like they did last night, it sort of puts me back another step because I think, oh, okay, well, I haven't got rid of it. I haven't got over it. It's going to happen again in the future. And it stops me doing stuff, and I hate that. It's just... It's frustrating. But... The main thing is it is getting better so i guess it just continue that path and it, things will be all right going forward but anyway i'm going to shut up i'm going to go get changed jump on the bike and ride around for a bit stick something on youtube or netflix and just have a nice casual ride around change of plan in the end uh, after i recorded that last bit of video there was only three minutes until the start of the next big spin ride and i thought you know what i'll jump on and do a more casual ride on there rather than riding with a pace partner because at least i get a spin of the wheel at the end, 
I watched something on Netflix, so I wasn't watching Zwift so intently. So that I, I have this thing where in group rides like that, I try if someone's coming past, I try and put out a little bit more effort to keep up with them. And I just uh, and on the hills, pushing a little bit up the hills. So I thought if I'm not really watching it, I can't do that. So <laughs> I watched something on the telly whilst um, whilst I was just riding around Zwift, 140-ish watts average, I think it was. So a little bit less than on Thursday and I did it in about 10 minutes longer. So nearer the time I was expecting to do on Thursday as well. So not too bad, an hour on the bike, which is really good. Uh, so in gradually increasing the time spent in the saddle each ride as well. And the spin at the end, I've got the, the wheels, the tri-spoke wheels, are they? Haven't looked at them. Um, probably not gonna use those because I stick, I, it took me so long to earn the Tron, kind of just use the Tron bike <laughs> all the time. Um, maybe I'll take a look at them at some point, but yeah, and I feel at the risk of repeating myself, I just feel this week has been another step forward. I feel that I could push myself a little bit harder. It's working well to be able to push myself harder and I'm getting stronger, which is only a good thing. It's getting me back to where I am. And again, as I say, almost every week, back towards being able to maybe join a race again, which I'm looking forward to. So really positive week. Moving on, well, actually, obviously today also is Sunday. So I've only done the two rides this week uh, and I will ride today. It's Sunday, Easter Sunday. We've got some things planned with the family, a bit of a family day. I'll jump on later on today and I'll just ride around with a pace partner or something uh, for a little while, which obviously will be too late before this video comes out, but also probably not that interesting for you guys to watch either. So I still do my best to get the three rides in this week. Moving on to next week, I've got a bit of an up and down week. Um, it's the school holidays. And I got some time to look after the kids in the evenings and uh, days off planned and all sorts happening next week. So I don't really know how I'm going to fit things in or when they're going to happen. But when I do get on, I'll be trying to push myself a bit more, try to find the time to go a little bit longer as well in amongst that. But it's going to be a bit of a more see what happens next week, really, rather than hitting anything with a plan. Um, but yeah that's that's this week i think we're again we're moving in the right direction aren't we it's getting better i've finished stronger uh, and every week just feels i'm just enjoying being being able to ride that a little bit harder is bringing that enjoyment back for me as well so all good from that point of view i want to say a huge thank you to all the channel supporters coming up the screen right now your support is amazing thank you so much but i think i think that's the end of this video i can't think of anything else to mention um, so thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, do hit like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.